My name is Devin DeVar Watkins. Uh, I'm 21, born and raised in Bakersfield, California. Who is Keen DeVar? Keen DeVar is, he's a, he's a guy who's not afraid to be an outcast. A guy who not, who's not scared to speak his mind. himself in every circumstance. You can't put him in a place that he's not comfortable in because he's going to be himself whoever he's around. He, uh, he's a person who strives in music, who wants to excel, who wants to explore different things in music. Uh, he's just a guy who stays true to himself, basically. Feeling like I'm feeling like I think like I'm running the bottom. I think music uh if I ain't running the bottom then tell me who is affects everyone in some way. But for like me personally, um music became my passion a long time ago when I was a kid. And I'm just trying to rhyme like two gone. I don't know, I just haven't encountered something on an equal level than music that fills me with joy and something that I enjoy doing regularly. But as a human, I don't think music really influences me that much because um, some music isn't, doesn't tell my story or doesn't reach me. I think my influences as a human comes from those I'm around and things like trial and error. Glasses off, but you see who is the best. Look at my eyes, you can see the dude passion. I ain't trying to do it for the stashing, do it for my rations. Do it cause the guy's over there, and oh yeah, I do it for the ratchets. <laughs> yeah, it's funny to me, um, and I ain't trying to be one of them D's. U D E S, they be on that BS. I'm the BS in the town. Me Thank being there from the beginning of the time, you get to see somebody start out so small and yet their ideas and their ideology become so broadened just by his work ethic being stronger than a lot of other people's um, even on a different scale than he is he kind of separates himself by pushing himself harder than the next person um, his style has came from a little more simpler to having a little more complex feel because now he's bringing together his personal issues with just the love of music so that clash has presented itself as kingdom war i really dialed in to music on a serious note when i hit high school um that's when i started making beats avidly and connecting with other artists and um i would go and show people my music and I would always get props from people especially like the upperclassmen would always come to me and be like hey yo kid you got skill and to fill somebody with joy um, through things I say in my music is powerful to me and I just feel like um, I would want to do that on a global level I usually generate my ideas from music through my experiences and um, sometimes it may not be things I encountered it may be things that someone has told me or something I've observed in someone else's life that I bring to life um, instrumentally um, I can like take something so small as a light bulb and make it a bigger Make it a symbol to mean something more than just something it creates like. Um, I think um, a lot of artists get caught up talking about what could be and what they want to happen instead of taking their life and altering it in ways that st they stay humble to themselves and true, but create new content.
Devin, Devin Watkins, that's his name. We go to the park and hoop. Come to the house and play 2K. I always win. He always be on my Facebook getting that girl. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, but uh, yeah. That's a good guy right there. He's, a, he's never in trouble. Always thinking of positive stuff. Thinking of something else. He's grinding always. That's G4MD. He's grinding for his dream. And I honestly believe that's what he's doing. G4MD is... It's a lifestyle. It's a new perspective on life. It's... Um, it's saying no one can control us and the only person that can stop us is us. Um, it's basically an enlightenment for the youth today. Why did I want um, King Duval to be part of Junction Entertainment? That's a fairly simple question. And uh, I'm going to give you a fairly simple answer. There's no other place where he belongs, straight up. Um, Junction is family. King Duval is my family. That's my youngster. Everybody calls him King Duval. Devin, I call him youngster to my house since he was like 14, 15 years old, recording songs with Mav. He used to just sit on the couch while Mav would be recording, writing, taking it all in, learning, growing. And now I can truly say that I'm a, I'm a true fan. I'm a true, true believer in him as an artist and as a person. Being the, um, the CEO of this company, if I wanted to make this company what I envisioned it, I needed King DeBar to be on to be part of this team. I didn't want him to be part of this team. I needed him to be part of this team. Simple as that. I was always around uh, guys from Junction. We're basically like family all here. Um, back when uh it was PBJ and not just a uh, junction. Um, I was always around. So um, after I got out of the deal with uh, the last labels I was with, um, I was contacted by um, Jordan and he asked me. Um, so I was the music and uh, I was a label treating you in Vegas and uh, I explained to him that I wasn't under contract anymore. And um, I guess, Prior to me telling him, he was talking to my brother about um, bringing me on to Junction. And so uh, I had to sit down with my brother and uh, he was telling me about everything that was said during this conversation. And uh, I was uh, I was just sold on the idea of being a part of a team of my family members getting all together.